What's up, guys? Hope everybody's having a good day. Um, yesterday, when I was at work, I found out that uh, the story so far put out a brand new song called Letterman. They're definitely in my top five favorite bands of all time, and um, I didn't really have time to do a reaction to it yesterday, but I made time for it because they're just so special to me. And I had such a busy day yesterday that I knew I wasn't going to be able to get the editing part of it done. So I just kind of did everything piece by piece as I had time because, um, you know, like, like well, once my daughter gets home from school, it's kind of like, you know, I got to focus on her and stuff. So after she went to bed, I actually took the time to get all the editing done and I had everything ready for an 8 a.m. upload for the new story so far reaction. When I was looking, I saw that my big blind reaction was gone. And... It was a very uh, successful video for a small timer like me. It had over 2,000 views, tons of comments from awesome fans of the band who really seemed to enjoy my commentary about the band and about the song. And when and when I tried to upload this one this morning, it was the same deal. It's, it, it's blocked. I don't think anybody can react to it. And it's kind of str strange. I don't think it has anything to do with the label. Because I have done so many videos, be it music covers or reactions for Pure Noise Records bands. Never had a problem at all. I have a The Story So Far guitar cover on my channel for If I Fall off their last album. It's still here. So it, it's definitely something pertaining specifically to this upcoming record. And unfortunately, I got to do this one a little bit different. And if it wasn't a band that was so near and dear to me, and if I didn't want to get this out there... I would just probably take the L and scrap it, but I did spend a lot of time on this. It really busted my butt to get it done. And I did get some subscribers over the Big Blind reaction. And, you know, I I had such great interactions with with all of the stories so far fans that saw m my reaction. And this isn't the first time YouTube has done this to me. Um, I had a very successful video for a small timer when I did Electric Cowboys Hurricane song. And it, it was like the same deal. It was up for months. That one got to like 5,000 views and it got blocked worldwide just out of nowhere. And, and the thing that's frustrating about it is you'll search that song and there'll still be tons of reactions from like one YouTubers that already are established, don't really need any algorithm help. You know, like YouTube already has so many problems as it is like, I'm grateful that it's here, but it's very problematic from the copyright stuff, especially the censorship, comment censorship, not even telling you what words you can't say that'll get your comment banned. They just ban it. Like the site is run pretty poorly when it comes to speech and this copyright stuff, you know, and another thing is frustrating out of it is I don't get anything out of it. In fact, every time I react to something, I purchase the song. I purchased this song and like anything I react to, like even if it ends up being a stinker, I, I'm stuck with it. You know, if I react to something and I put their song in my video on my channel, I do my part, support the band by the song. And if I like it enough, I put it on the iPod. So when I do a reaction, people who are familiar with my content know this, but people who are watching for the first time, I typically don't talk too much during the actual song. Like I'll say a couple things here and there sometimes, but for the most part, I try to just absorb everything. And, you know, I'm just going to play the intro I had for this reaction and then the outro where we reviewed the song. This isn't how I wanted to do it at all, but this is really the only way I can get it out there. You know, if anything changes, I'll, you know, I'll put it back in. I still have that original version saved, but I'm sorry we got to do it this way. And... I hope it doesn't take too much away from the reaction for you. I'm sure most people that are coming here have already heard the song, but if you haven't, and I do have some subscribers that do regularly watch my content and find out about new music through me, I do have some of those. And for them, I will put the link to this song and music video in the description. Definitely go check it out. Like it says, has nothing to do, I know this has nothing to do with the label. I know it has nothing to do with the band. And like I said, this isn't the first time this has happened to me, and I'm sure it's not the first person that it's happened to. So I don't want to be too much of a whiner here. I actually have another video I need to be working on right now. So let's just get into the original intro and outro.
for my reaction to the story so far's Letterman. What up, what up? Welcome to my channel where we're doing music covers, original music, album reviews, song reviews, reactions, tier lists, whatever the day calls for. If you like what you see here, please subscribe to the channel. If you have content on here, I'll subscribe to you as well. I am all about supporting up and comers on here. My original music can be found at robcarry.bandcamp.com. I am currently working on the follow up to that album. It will be called Ugly Living and first studio session has already uh, been in the books for that one. It is very much a work in progress. And speaking of a work in progress, today is a super exciting day because one of my all-time favorite bands, their next work, their next album, which will be titled I Want to Disappear, is not only in progress, but it appears to be completed. And I just had some uh, free time at work, some downtime, enough time to just kind of scroll YouTube on my phone, and I saw they just released a new song an hour or two ago called Letterman, and that's around the time... I'm filming this, but by the time this video makes it to YouTube, it will most likely be tomorrow, Friday. Uh, I, I just don't have the time today to do all of the editing. Once my daughter gets out of school, I, I'll pretty much be claimed for the day. But for this one, I figured we'd get the ball rolling because I'm not waiting to listen to this. These guys are one of my favorite bands. I can't think of too many bands that I listen to that have been around for 10 or more years that have never made a bad song. Never made a song I don't like. Their discography is flawless. Their progression as a band has just been such an amazing thing to witness over the years. These guys have done so much for me. I am always listening to these guys. All four of their albums are on my iPod shuffle at work. And I listen to these guys so religiously that I am very much burnt out on on all four of the albums just because I've listened to them so many times. Like what I'm wanting to hear this band at this point i'm usually just going to the last single big blind that's what we had last time around just because it's the only one i haven't listened to hundreds thousands of times and that was a great song that song didn't show any kind of like huge stylistic leap forward in in the evolution of their sound it was just a very nicely written extremely catchy earworm of a song with some really clever lyrics and I've listened to it a bunch too. I, I knew that one was going to be getting tons of replay value for me, but I can't wait to hear this, man. Let's just get into it. Just astounding, man, how they're able to hit it out of the park every damn time. Like This is my first listen of the song, and I already don't know which one of these two new tracks... I like better. I, I, I love the uh, chord progression in the verses and like the guitar drum interplay, whereas Big Blind was just more of your steady driving beat, 4-4 four, four beat, like there was more time signature change ups. Nothing too complex, but you know, enough to like really make you appreciate it, appreciate the songwriting. The hooks of the verses and 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 the chorus, like it, it's all just amazing man and like how i said big blind didn't really feel like this uh this uh ambitious step forward in the sound this one sounds more like the logical next step to proper dose and has more of those vibes ever since proper dose parker's had this uh kind of this distinct vocal effect on his voice and it, it gives it a more atmospheric feel he even did it in his side project which i own uh the no pressure album and i'm glad that he's doing both of these bands because you know you're, you're, you're gonna have fans that miss the old sound and no pressure is kind of like a mix of the first story so far record and like some 90s skate punk like it's re it's really really good too and i think with him doing both of these projects parker he'll feel creatively satisfied like in full because what no pressure does would be way too much of a leap backwards for where the stories so far are at right now. And, you know, there's a lot of speculation about the future of this band because of how long it's been since Proper Dose. But I, I, I never was really worried that they were going to disband. I knew they weren't going anywhere. Quality takes time. The wait for Proper Dose was another kind of lengthy one where Parker was going through some things and... When that album got here, it was worth the wait. And honestly, like, I couldn't really rate the albums because they don't have a worst album. They just don't. Like, I would say, like, 
tied for first place is the first one and the fourth one, like the beginning of the journey and where we're at right now. I, like those are the ones I like the most. But I would say the second album and the third album are just tied for second because there's no worst album. Like they all have something about them that makes them unique, even though they have this core sound. And, and that's the thing, too, with these guys is like as they refuse to stay the same. And they evolve by adding new textures and land, uh, landscapes and and lyrical themes that they hadn't explored previously and things like that. They keep their core signature sound intact enough where it's this is a very easy band to grow up with and 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 grow with like you i wouldn't listen to the first story so far album and hear this new track and not, not know it's the same band even though it's drastically different like there's always that familiar core sound you know and a lot of that is in the drumming like, this band is very much considered a pop punk band but i I never really call them that because there's just so much more to what they do than your average pop punk band, you know, like lyrically, musically, uh, with time signature change ups. And just like, I, I, I think these guys roll this genre, you know, like, like I, I really, really like state champs, but you know, they exist to be the more fun, feel good, lovey dovey kind of band. And they're very good at it. They're one of my favorite bands too, but, there's just something about this band in this, this umbrella of pop punk where they just transcend onto a totally different level. And, and I could see that in them when I first got in, into them. I like, really like the uh, album artwork style we're going with here for this next record. But let's see. There's just so much to say about this band, you know? And it's making this review kind of lengthy. So for the sake of time here, let's rate this song. I'm, I'm, I, gave, I gave Big Blind an 8. It was sitting at a 7.5, and I knew there's going to be growing room to be had, so I gave it an 8. I think this one has qualities that Big Blind doesn't have. Like, the, And th this is already like going to be in my head all day. Like, There's elements that make you think, but at the same time, it reaches out and grabs you right away. Like, This was really, really good, man. I'll, I'll give this one a 9 out of 10. Like, like That might seem high for at first, but I know I'll stand by that rating after I've heard this a good five more times. And... I'll probably be at that point by the end of today, you know? I mean, I got to edit either way, but great job to these guys. I'm so glad they're back. I'm so ready for what's next. And that's all I really got to say about this one. Until next time, thanks for watching.